A healthy self-image. I, I prefer the term healthy, unhealthy over good or bad self-image. Now the question is, what is a healthy self-image? What is a healthy way to perceive yourself? I believe it's this. To see yourself as God sees you, no more and no less. Now let me repeat that. A healthy self-image is to see yourself as God sees you. In other words, reality, no more and no less. And yet to do that, we have to make a commitment. And the commitment is this. It's an intellectual commitment. It should be based upon evidence and convictions that the Bible is the Word of God and it is true. And the conviction you need to live by is this, that the truest thing about you is what God says about you in His Word. Not your feelings, not your emotions, not the culture around you, not Hollywood that has a different beauty queen every year. But what does God's word say about you? That is the truest thing about you. And in Romans 12, verse uh, 3, the word of God makes an interesting observation. It says this. I say to every man or woman among you, not to think more highly of himself than he ought to think. And I'll have pastors others say, see, you shouldn't think highly of yourself. You should have a very low image and opinion of who you are. I said, wait a minute. That's not what I was saying. It says we shouldn't think more highly of ourselves than we ought to think. In other words, we're supposed to think highly of ourselves, but not more highly than we ought to think. Then how, we do, how do we think about ourselves? The same verse answers it when Paul said, but to think so as to have sound judgment. In other words, we're to look at ourselves with sound judgment. Now, what is sound judgment? It's this. Sound judgment is seeing yourself as God sees you. No more and no less. And that's based upon the truest thing about you is what God says about you. Is your image of yourself Truly in alignment with the way God perceives you, I would say for 90% of believers around the world, there's a disalignment. There's no correlation between the way most people perceive themselves and the way God perceives them.